weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we've certainly been in a stagnant weather pattern here in the Concha Valley, and that's going to continue for us here throughout the Concha Valley in the days ahead. And as we take a look at those weather headlines, we've got a quiet week ahead of us. More sun in store, highs in the 80s and 90s. It's going to get a little bit warmer for us. And we're watching the tropics because we've got more trouble in the tropics for us here in the Atlantic season in the Atlantic area. Here's our almanac for today. Not feeling too much like it should this time of the year. High today topping out near 90 degrees. We should be more along the lines of 82 degrees for a high. Our record of 98 set back in 19. 29 so we were just eight degrees shy of that record our low this morning of 52 degrees that's below average for us for this time of the year 57 is where we normally average for our lows 40 was the record back in 1932 here at mathis field speaking of mathis field here's what's going on right now 87 degrees 84 is what it feels like out at the airport humidity at 27 percent winds out of the south southwest at 11 miles per hour, so we've got some gusty winds out there. Pressure at 29.95 inches and falling rapidly out at the airport right now. Current temperatures across the Lone Star State. Seeing those temperatures in the 90s from Amarillo to Lubbock to Midland. 84 over in Marfa, 87 here in San Angelo, 80 in Waco, 77 over in Dallas-Fort Worth, 76 in Tyler, Texas. So we've got those varying temperatures across the entire Lone Star State. Our current surface map across the United States, high pressure building in over the east coast right now that's providing really nice weather for the eastern half of the united states including us here in texas picking up on some of that nice weather is too we've got a surface trough through the northern portions of the texas panhandle what that's going to do is just kind of round out here and not do too much for us here in the concho valley high pressure building back in behind that into portions of colorado we've got a cold front into the northern plain states right now some showers associated with that cold front near minneapolis and moving through the northern tier of the plain states and then we've got some showers along the florida coastline florida seems to always get showers throughout no matter what time of the year it is just seems to always get rainy weather in parts of florida here in texas it's the opposite story we've got sunshine clear conditions throughout the lone star state and that's going to be the story for us through the days ahead as we go through the rest of the evening temperatures getting down into the 60s and 50s overnight tonight into tomorrow morning and as we go through our day on tuesday getting upwards of 90 degrees and some communities getting into the 80s wouldn't be surprised if we got a little further into those low 90s throughout the day tomorrow on our Tuesday. Our extended future cast looks like this for us over the next seven days. Clear conditions throughout the Lone Star State. It's going to be quiet for us through much of the week and into the end of the week here getting to Friday evening watching some tropical disturbance coming into the Gulf of Mexico we're going to talk about that in just a minute but that moves off and into the northeast as we go into next week things still remaining quiet here in the Lone Star State through next week here's tropical storm Delta right now that's right we're into the Greek alphabet it's been a very busy hurricane season here in the Atlantic this one is sitting in the Caribbean winds at 70 miles per hour pressure at 983 mil is moving west at eight miles per hour as we track this storm out over the next several days into the end of the week coming into the gulf of mexico something we're going to watch closely here as it comes close to louisiana likely making landfall as a category two storm for us here as we go into tonight we're getting down to 55 degrees here in the concho valley clear conditions for us for our tuesday getting upwards of 92 degrees sunny and warm conditions and then as we go into the next five days here in the concho valley more sunshine more warm temperatures morning lows starting out in the 50s and the next seven days is a repeat of that mostly sunny conditions temperatures in the 90s and 80s for daytime highs we'll be back with more